Hello guys, this is Nimrod here, and I'm coming at you with an Adobe After Effects CS6 tutorial on how to use Element 3D and how to motion track. So, let's just jump right into it. The first thing you're going to do is import a clip. So, I'm using the cinematic I'm using for Team Aura cams. So, you want to pre-compose it. I've already scaled and rotated it, so it looks all nice. It gives it a nice cinematic look. Okay, so you'll want to right click on the clip, you'll want to track camera, and as you can, as you guys can see, it's going to take a little bit because it's 255 frames, so I'll come back when it's done. Alright, it's almost done, it's solving the camera, and when this is done, I'll show you guys what you're going to do from there. So, when this is done, you're going to get a whole bunch of dots like this. And you're gonna choose a plane that you want to create a text on. If this, if these dots don't show up, all you gotta do is click on 3D Camera Tracker, and it, and they should just show back up. So the first thing you're gonna do is right click wherever you want. See how it's a flat surface like that. You're gonna create text and camera. And on the text, I'm just gonna move it down so I can see it a little bit better. See, this is a 2D motion tracking tutorial right here. So if you wanted to do 2D, this is how you would do it. So like, see how that's nice camera track. Everything on is perfect. It's, it doesn't move or anything. I'm gonna rename it. So Scale that back. All right. Now for Element 3D for 3D motion tracking, you're going to create a new black solid. Make sure it's comp size and rename it Element. Okay. So then you'll want to go to Effects, Video Copilot, and add on Element on the black solid. And it's going to take a second because Element's kind of like a big program. So here's Element. You're going to, I don't know why it's been doing this, but it just shows it black. So you're going to go to Custom Layers, Custom Text and Maps. And this is where you would add on your text. You would, mine's a rename Tutorial by Emerald. If you're going to do texture maps, like if you want to do the camera or like the uh environment okay so now you're going to click scene setup you're going to click extrude and there's your 3d text right if if your after effects crashes when you click extrude it means your graphics card is not supported so i'm sorry to tell you that but you need to get a better graphics card so if you want to do like presets and you can do like this it gives it that shiny look or you can do like this and just go through here and mess with the settings. I would just do like a color. You get that shiny red. Okay. So click OK. So you'll get the 3D text right here. You just want to hide the 2D text. Okay, and this is uh this is motion tracked in, it's not moving. So if you want to move this, where you're gonna find this is group one. You want to go to particle replicator if you want to make. I don't. I don't think that does anything. So just don't mess with that. But if you want to edit the position, you can do it like this, and you can go up and down, and left and right. Okay. So if you want to edit, like if you want to animate it, you'll go to particle look. You can edit the size of it. You can make it bigger or smaller. And particle size, that's how you make it bigger or smaller. And particle size random, it just does the same exact thing apparently. Okay, so if you want to do rotation, per se, you can rotate it forward and back like that. And if you should already know how to keyframe if you're doing this, but you keyframe it at zero, then you move it forward and it'll rotate and shit. So if you want to rotate it like this, so like if you wanted it to spin, 
So like I would if I want to get a spin, I would keyframe right here. And then go right here. And then go like that. Okay, so bam, look, spinning tags. Woo! Nice spinning tags. Alright, so I'll undo that. Okay. So if you want to do like multi object, this is what you do. You go to multi object, click enable multi object, and you're going to get a whole bunch of this stuff. So if you want to do this, you'll go, see, it'll spin this. I always go displace, and this is how I get like my, it's like floating in kind of effect. You just keyframe all this stuff. This is how you edit a lot of the stuff in here. I'm just gonna do those. This place, it kind of does it randomly, moves it all out. Uh, display, the displace random does the same exact thing. So if you wanted to like go crazy, just mess around in these guys, and you should just get a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, this is just like simple tutorial on how to use a lot of this stuff, how to animate your stuff. Uh, I'll show you how to do an environment on your text right now. Uh, let me just hide all this. So you will duplicate this layer that you tracked on. And then you'll go to, or uh, you'll rename it. I always rename my stuff. And do an environment. Okay. So, then you'll go to effects. On your element layer. And you'll go to custom texture maps. And then you'll just go to your environment layer. Then go to scene setup. And then you go to environment. And it should be right here. Custom layer 1. And then it gives it that environment of the map. So if it moves. Like when it moves in the scene. It'll go with the map. The map lighting and everything. Pretty cool. Uh, another thing you can do. Uh, I don't really mess around with render settings or anything, but you can. I'm sure would. Uh, I'm sure it would. Uh, yeah, it doesn't crash my computer because I have a fast computer. Uh, it's just like little stuff you can mess around with. You can go to. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, whatever you want to mess around with. So. That's just a simple tutorial on how to do motion track and use Element 3D for After Effects. And I'll show you guys uh, what I came up with in the cam just to show you guys what it would look like. Okay, so open up our cam. This is a pretty big file. I got like, I got like, this file has uh, 50. 56 layers so this is my what I came up with in the cans I got this is the new intro and everything yeah, I'll just ram preview it and I'll pause the video and come back when it's done Alright guys, I'm back and you can see that like the aura cam is coming together while the elevator door is opening and I'm just going to show you guys this beginning ramp preview just to demonstrate some of the motion tracks in it. So hopefully you guys are pumped about me doing aura cams because it's going to turn out sick. So here we go. <laughs> I'm still mobbing. Fuck what he got say. We worked too hard, gone too far to let y'all motherfuckers in the Yeah, so that's the motion track, and just to show you guys what it would look like, and the black bars and everything. I mean, just a clean little edit, and I hope you guys found this tutorial useful, and I hope to see you guys like and comment and favorite if you really like it. I mean, not a big deal, but other than that, so. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace out, niggas.